agree. This camping trip is a great idea. You hear the train in the distance? <sighs> yeah, we used to get a lot of trains back where I was growing up. Yeah, I did. It was, um, they always came around late at night though. So, if ever I was asleep in my room, uh, <sighs> <gasps> They'd sometimes wake me up. Oh, yeah, I'm getting a little tired. Uh, I think, uh, running on the sugar crash at about five s'mores, so... <sighs> you want to tell stories? Hmm, like what? Campfire stories, scary stories, life stories, huh? Well, okay. Oh, you want me to tell one? Do you not want to tell one? Or do you not have one? <laughs> okay, fine. I'll do one. Um, let's see. Oh, I know. So, picture this. It's myself, my dad, and my mom, and my sister. We're all going around hiking through the woods. And as we're hiking around, we start to hear the call of a wolf pack. And mom and dad immediately looked at each other, and then me, as my ears started perking up, and I'm looking around, because my instincts of a wolf are starting to kick in. And... <sighs> Sorry. I'm still tired. Um, where was I? Oh, right, the wolf pack. Um, so, the wolf pack started howling more and more and my mom and dad looked at each other like something very bad was gonna happen. They picked up my sister and they also picked up me and then one of the wolves actually looked at us through the bushes. He was he was big, I tell ya, and especially for a seven year old, he was huge and he just stared at us I looked at him and <laughs> you'd never see a more pure shade of amber when you look into a wolf's eyes like a full-blown wolf not my eyes because my eyes are green <laughs> but anyway um as soon as we saw that wolf, he just walked away. I know it's not the best story, but it's... It's the only one I could come up with. I'm really tired. Um... <laughs> Uh, I'm trying to think what, uh, what else could we do? Because, yeah, my fumes are starting to run out, and I'm, mm. I'm tired. Do I go to bed? <gasps> okay. <sighs> You go ahead and get things set up in here. I'm gonna go over to the creek and fill the bucket with water. Then we can dump it over the fire so that way there's no forest fire. Yeah, we wouldn't want that. Okay, I'll meet you in a bit. <laughs> 